friend, welcome. If we haven't met yet, I'm Jen. I'm a part-time online clothing reseller, which means I go to thrift stores, I buy used clothes, I list them on eBay and Poshmark and sell them for a profit. Today is Saturday, December 7th, and I have six items sold in about the last 24 hours, a little bit less than that. Um, I have a gross sales amount of $116.53. Yes, that is super low. I put a clearance sale back on, had it on in November, and I decided to do it again, and most of these sold from that clearance sale. I did have two that sold, not full price, but not in the clearance sale, but they were not super huge sales either. This is a button-up. It does have, I could not figure out what multiple flush ponies were, but this is a Ralph Lauren button-up. I Google searched this. I may have sold something really cool and not known it, but with a Ralph Lauren, this is a double XL striped button up. The average sale price is $20.99 with an 11% sell through rate. Uh, if I add flesh pony, which is when it looks like it's a person and not just like a solid color, then the average sell price is similar, $19.28, but it jumps to an 18% sell through rate, which still isn't super high, but pretty significantly different from 11%, I think. I don't know. I had this priced at $23. I sent out 20% off offers. They accepted at $18.37, plus shipping, they paid a total of $24.30. And I paid how about I paid two dollars for it at my new favorite thrift store just about a month ago. I did get it thinking my husband would like it, he didn't want it, so uh, my profit's twelve dollars and 79 cents. That's pretty great. This is Old Navy, believe it or not. Super cute little wrap shirt. And it is linen or linen blend. Like I said, it's Old Navy. It is a plus size. I bought this for an aesthetics video that I did which, with Gretchen, the Restless Thrifter. And if you don't follow her, you should go subscribe. She's pretty great. Uh, but we did a aesthetics video in March. So those videos probably aren't up to date at this point almost a year old. So we've been talking about doing one again, but we need to find a good list of current aesthetics. I haven't really looked yet, but hopefully after the new year, we'll do that again. This I bought at a local thrift store that benefits our humane society. I very rarely go there, but I spent $2.50 on it. I searched Old Navy wrap top linen plus size. The average sell price was $19.52 with a whopping 8% sell through rate. Not really great. But I do find that some Old Navy plus size does pretty well. So it says I have this listed for five months. We did the aesthetics thing in March though, so I'm not really sure. Okay. This was in the clearance sale. This is a Torrid blazer. It is new with tags. It has like ruched sleeves, which I've had some success selling, not necessarily Torrid, but other brands with ruched sleeves. The uh, brand new price is $75.50 because it is new with tags. I just don't know if this particular style I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to blazers is, is, the, is the truth of the matter. But this I've had for a really long time. I had it originally priced at $60, which was probably way too much. Over the 14 months that I've had it, I've gradually brought down the price to 35 and then actually maybe closer to 32 or 33. And it sold half off. The average sale price for a Torrid blazer is $21.92. So I really had it overpriced. Plus 16% plus 
plus not knowing if that's really a current style. Uh, I don't know. It sold for $15.71 plus shipping, which was $22.64. I paid $8 for it. Oy, that makes my profit $5.39. I did buy it at just a regular Goodwill. Um, But when I bought it, I like Torrid. Torrid sells really well for me. I have a pretty good sell-through rate personally with Torrid. Um, and I don't know, with it being new with tags, I think I probably was just like, ah, eh, go for it. This is another kind of bread and butter brand for me. Like Torrid would be J. Jill. It's just a brand that generally sells for me between 20 to $25 fairly quickly within like six months or so. This did not. I don't know why. It's a wool blend, a long, I don't know. Sometimes I just, I don't know. <laughs> the average sale price, what I searched was J. Jill sweater, tunic, wool blend, and the average sale price was $20.33 with a 15% sell through rate. This one I had close to, it was less than $20. So then after the 50% off, they paid $8.83 and they would have used my 15% off coupon plus shipping. They paid a total of $13.44. I've had this for 19 months, bought it at the bins, the Goodwill outlet where you pay by the pound. So my average cost of goods is about $2 no. per item and my profit is $3.18. Right. Yeah, kiddo. These, I just don't have success selling vintage Levi's or Levi's in any stress of the, stre stretch of the imagination. That's what I'm trying to say. I think it's better if they're made in the U.S. These were made in Cambodia, but that's what a vintage label looks like. And... Right here, it says the second set of numbers. It says 0299. So they were made in February of 99. 1999. I was 19 years old. <laughs> anyway, these are men's Levi's Vintage Men 505s, which is what these are. Have an average sale price of 29.77 but a 15% sell-through rate. So I did have them started around $30 and then gradually got to, when I delist and relist, sometimes I will lower the price by, I don't know, 5%, 10%. Just kind of depends on my mood, which probably isn't the best way to run a business, but it happens sometimes. Anyway, the sale price with the 50% off was $9.32 plus they paid shipping so they paid a total of $15.35. I paid a dollar for them at my old favorite thrift store 20 months ago and my profit is $5.57. Plus I got that dollar back which is you know that's part of it. All right, these are a mystery to me. These are a pair of jeans also. They look like this, they're just like straight leg. They are called Devil Dog. I don't know, Devil Dog jeans. Let's see, Devil Dog, that's another little label in there. The average sell price is $21.66 with a 46% sell through rate. So the way I, do, oh, this is actually a cool label. That's kind of cool. Anyway, the way I calculate sell through rate is the amount of items sold divided by the amount of items sold and listed. So if 100 items are sold, uh, listed in 90 days, 46% would be 46 listed and 54 still, I'm sorry, I said that backwards, 46 sold and 54 still listed, which is a really good sell-through rate. Somebody else might say that's almost 100% sell-through rate if they calculate it differently than I do. I calculate it that way because the eBay's product research tool that I use when I comp is that's how they calculate it. So anyway, 
46%. I don't know why. And I had them priced around $25 to $20, but they still never sold. So I don't know if maybe the style was wrong. Maybe it was a weird size. I didn't think it was a weird size, but I found these at the bins 17 months ago. How long have they been listed? Yikes. So they were around $20, 50% off, made them $9.00. 43 cents. They used the 15% off coupon. With shipping, they paid $15.46. I paid $2 for them roughly at the bins. Like I said, 17 months ago. So $4.81 is my profit. My total profit for the day was $45.96, which is kind of low, but I'm moving inventory and that is really what I want to be doing. So we are headed to the Nutcracker, and I was going to have a Nutcracker-related question, and I forget <laughs> what it is. Um, I just forgot to get it together. So, let's see. Maybe um, leave a Nutcracker-related emoji in the comments. How about that? Do you like the Nutcracker? Do you go see the Nutcracker? We don't go see it every year, but we do occasionally. This year, one of my girl's friends is dancing in it. So we're gonna go see her. That's our, our main reason for going. So that's it uh, for me today. Make sure you like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I do these Ship With Me videos every day, kind of chronicling what a part-time reseller actually sells. And yeah, I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I'll see you soon.